you, sir. What is going on, YouTube? It's your boy Denali, aka Don Squally, back at it with another Forza Horizon 3 build video, man. I hope you guys are having a good one. As always, we are back at it with your requests. Um, it's the nature of this channel, man. So if you guys have anything in particular you want to see, let's try to think, you know. Think outside the box, man. I want to see all of those off-the-wall builds this week, man. So let me know what you guys want to see. Something unique. Um, for this one, though, we are taking a request from Chair Heos on YouTube. And he wants to see a 6.2 liter 240 SX with 800 horsepower. So we're going to do our best to replicate um, or meet all the criteria in this build right here but first and foremost what we need to do is jump into the nissan buy car section of the game you guys know how it works and we're going to buy up said nissan 240 now we have the 240 sxe and i believe that's the only option that we have here a lot of guys do the sylvia front end swap on the 240 actually those door panels and door lines look almost identical where the uh, the front fender meets up but we're gonna buy this one up for 25,000 credits and get started with it um, obviously you guys know how we do it we're gonna start out with the ugliest manufacturer color today that being this green uh, and we're gonna buy the car up and now that we own this car let's go ahead jump into the upgrade section and see what we can make of this bad boy here now obviously right out of the bait out of the gate I should say I was gonna say the bat but I guess either or would work. We need a 6.2 liter V8, so we're going to go ahead and install that up. Uh, rear wheel drive, I think, is going to be pretty fun for this thing. Um, now, I believe there was a request also to make this thing a track car. Now, for this car, an all-wheel drive swap really just doesn't make sense. But, I mean, if it was plausible in real life, it would definitely be something that I would consider in this game. But since most 240s, our rear wheel drive like most people don't put all wheel drive drivetrains in them um we're gonna go ahead and leave this one rear wheel drive but it is gonna be a track oriented setup in this one so we're gonna make sure that we can get a few track parts on there that big rear diffuser big wing definitely gonna be helping with the grip um, now tire compound i'm gonna go ahead and put a horizon tire compound on here for those tire letters uh, we're going to go ahead and max out the width on both the front and the back. Now, I believe when you put the wide body kit on here, you get wider tires as well. So that's a nice little touch by Forza there. Uh, we're going to go ahead and swap out some wheels. Now, I'm going to look for something with a nice dish on here. I'll let you guys know when I find something that I think suits this car real quick. Now, a couple very nice uh, setups here, but I'm going to go with the Koenig Afterburners simply because these have a nice little dish on them, still have a very deep uh, lip as well as a nice spoke pattern. So I'm pretty happy with this setup here. We're going to go 18s all the way around. We're definitely going to have to lower this thing, put some camber on it, um, at least on the front. Now, being a track setup, um, we're going to need a clutch as well as a transmission differential. We're going to leave the way that it is, but that drive line, we're definitely going to go ahead and take care of. Uh, brakes, always need brakes. You guys know me. I like to stop. Uh, when I don't stop, it actually makes me feel pretty upset. Get a little, little cranky when that happens. Um, we're going to put on some anti-roll bars. Weight reduction, just a little bit, nothing too crazy. And then we're going to go ahead and put a full cage in here since this is, quote, a track car. Um, now, as far as the engine goes, I think this thing's going to have more than enough power with the supercharged engine and that stock V8. So I'm just going to do an intake and exhaust for sound, and that's it, man. I don't want this thing to be too crazy. I want to be able to have it handle properly when we get out on the track. And keeping the power to a minimum is definitely going to help that out. So as far as the alignment goes, um, I'm going to put a little bit of camber on the front um, and then slam the front out. And that is going to be it. Um, the reason being is I want to have as much grip on the rear as possible. Um, now that we got that out of, the, out of the way, obviously designs and paint is the next step. Now, I'm not too sure what would be a good uh, race setup for this car. Actually, 
Now that I'm thinking of it, let's see if we can find some actual drift setups for this car. I think that would be pretty cool. Uh, team Tien, Nissan Tien. I actually have Tien Springs on my G35. If you guys haven't seen my uh, other channel, link will be down in the description for that. Just trying to, been trying to cross promote uh, towards that channel since the gaming channel's actually doubled in size uh, since I uh, started it and actually um, I started my, uh, my vlog channel long before the gaming channel so that's uh kind of funny uh but as you can see we have a nice skin here i'm gonna go ahead and call this one a success we're gonna save this to my designs and with that being said we are just about ready to hit the road ladies and gentlemen now since this is a track setup i'm definitely gonna try not to drift it but with a car like this that's probably gonna be easier said than done now, man, this thing right out of the gate, hauling some serious ass. If you guys watch Haggard Garage, Cam's actually putting a 302 in his 240, so kind of the same idea. 6.2 liter, I'm not sure. Is that an LS motor? Um, it kind of the same idea, V8 race car, full tube frame chassis, so that is definitely sick. So we got kind of the same idea going on here, and it actually handles really nice like the wheels obviously want to spin at that high rpms but once you get it in a straight line it breaks really nice corner is amazing and it really maintains that straight line around the corners man i'm quite surprised now i'm sure if i wanted to i could get this thing to drift but I don't even, this thing's just fun ripping around these uh, these little alleyways or I don't know what you'd call this. Little city we got going on here. Keep my eye on the road here. Messed up that speed zone real good. It handles amazing. I, I was thinking this thing was going to be a lot to handle in the rear end. Like there was going to be a lot of wheel spin, but... No, actually, this thing sounds really good. Got that V8. Not too much power. I'm glad that I didn't uh, upgrade the supercharger on this one because I feel like it really, really would have pushed this one over the top. Whereas right now, this is just perfect. This is where it needs to be. Even though you wouldn't be able to tell by me running in all these cars. Six gear and it's still pulling handles amazing very nice build this is one of those builds that i'll probably keep you guys know that uh, we just did an auction last week and you know i auctioned off a lot of the cars that i don't really use that much and i think this is gonna be one of the cars that i do use quite a bit man because this is uh this thing handles great we're getting right around our top speed still haven't topped it out yet but i'm thinking around 280 is probably going to be our max speed which isn't that bad because most track racing, now we are playing Horizon 3, still waiting for more Motorsport 7 to come out. Most track racing typically not going to be getting into those high of top speeds unless you have like a really long straightaway, which in certain cases, you know, is the situation. But for this type of uh, racing here, this is actually tuned up perfect. So with me crashing into everybody here, I think it's about time that we uh, fast travel down to civilization here and uh, found a little spot to gather our thumbnail. So as always, if you guys did enjoy this one, man, don't forget to smash that like button if you guys want to see more and you're not subscribed yet. Um, you know, click the subscribe button as well because YouTube, it's its kind of a funny thing the way YouTube works is if you if you click subscribe, you get like the notifications and then you say, hey, your boy Don Squally, aka Denali, aka Don Squally, he uploaded a video and then you get to come, you get to watch it, um, you know, and we can be a part of this, uh, we can be a part of this journey together. Uh, but I'm thinking we're probably going to put an, an end to this video as you can see the 240 V8 track build came off as a success man i'm really happy with how this one turned out um if you guys enjoyed it I, we already went through all that man as always i'm your boy denali aka don squally i just want to say thank you guys for watching we're gonna catch y'all at the next one man peace recovery of a
lifetime. Oh fuck! Oh no! Oh! Ah. Yeah, keep on rolling there. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry about the race or anything. 